Good afternoon. On behalf of the almost 10,000 neighbors who make up the Place Matters neighborhood and surrounding community, I'd like to thank each of you for your interest in partnering with United Way of Forsyth County as we embark on our third Place Matters investment cycle and move into year six of positive change. My name is Rod Smith. I'm the director of place-based initiatives here at United Way of Forsyth County. And it has been my pleasure to serve the Place Matters community for these past two years. In today's presentation, I will introduce you to the Place Matters initiative and the investment process. Before moving on though, I would like to recognize some of my colleagues from community planning and investment um, who may have had the opportunity to join us, but nonetheless, I would still like to thank them for their support. Um, Debbie Wilson is our Chief Impact Officer. Charmaine Angino is our Senior Director in CPI. And Cedric Parker is the other part of the Place Matters team, our Faith-Based Place Matters, excuse me, Faith-Based Engagement Coordinator. I'd also like to recognize Ray Haycraft, Creative Director in Marketing and Engagement, and thank her for her technical assistance during today's presentation. Um, and as a last minute, thank you. Thank you also to Sandra Jenkins, um, who helped make some copies um, here in the office. Um, today's presentation, as Ray said earlier, is being recorded and will be archived and available for later viewing on the United Way of Forsyth County website. Participating in today's presentation is required for organizations seeking to partner with Place Matters. And as a means of capturing today's attendance, at the conclusion of today's presentation, I will direct you to the United Way website where you can attest to your attendance and gather other resources as you prepare to submit your organization's letter of intent. If you should have any questions as we go along, please post them in the chat box and I'll address any that are not answered in the course of the presentation at its end. Let's get started. United Way of Forsyth County originated in 19. 1923 as a community chest of Forsyth County. Our organization funded partner agencies that served our community in a variety of ways and aided people in need. In 1974, the name was changed to United Way of Forsyth County. Almost a century later from our inception, our organization remains a cornerstone of philanthropy in Winston-Salem and Forsyth County. We continue to work hand in hand with partner agencies to align programs and resources to create the most direct and effective solutions to key social issues facing the community. Our mission is to bring the community and its resources together to solve problems that no one organization can do alone. Our vision is to create a Forsyth County where no one lives in poverty and everyone holds the power to access opportunities and has the resources needed to thrive. At United Way, we recognize the interplay of our core values and how the expression of these values embodies our work in the community. We hold ourselves and our partnerships to the values of collaboration, continuous improvement, integrity, diversity, passion, and innovation and equity. Also at United Way, we join the local and nationwide dialogue around equity. We recognize that structural racism and other forms of oppression have contributed to persistent disparities, which United Way seeks to dismantle. We strive to engage community members, especially those whose voices have traditionally been marginalized. We work with residents and public and private partners to co-create solutions that ensure everyone has the resources, supports, opportunities and networks they need to thrive. We commit to leveraging all of our assets, convening strategic investments, awareness building and advocacy to create more equitable communities. And in this investment process, we invite you to join us. Let's talk specifically about what brings you to this space today, Place Matters. Place Matters is an innovative place-based approach to community development. United Way of Forsyth County's Place Matters initiative supports and fosters the creation of thriving neighborhoods through investment in models and evidence-based practices that address needs identified by the community it serves. This resident-led and resident-informed shift in investing in community is a departure from traditional philanthropy and returns the power to our neighbors in their own neighborhoods. Place Matters is work that believes that community solutions must have community input and support and validation to be effective. 
Simply put, Place Matters is about doing with rather than doing for. And at United Way, we think that makes all the difference. I'd like to take a look at the community context from which this initiative was born. Take a brief look at its history of the program, excuse me, at the history of the program and to examine its basic tenets. Let's start with some of the data um, that has led us to this moment. For many of us, much of this data is not new. And unfortunately for our community, many of these disparities continue to exist. In Forsyth County, one in three children and one in five of all residents live in poverty. Over 30,000 people over the age of 25 do not have a high school diploma. And Winston-Salem ranks seventh out of the 100 largest metro areas for having the largest increase over the last decade and the number of poor people living in neighborhoods of concentrated poverty. And as we can see here, many of these disparities sit squarely in the eastern and northeastern corridor of Forsyth County. The area outlined in blue represents the place matters footprint. This heat map represents unemployment, but it could just as easily represent poor health outcomes lack of access to adequate health care or school or excuse me or high school graduation rates and here we have the entry level salaries of the five fastest growing jobs in winston-salem that do not require a high school diploma as compared to the county's self-sufficient wage and average earnings if we look at the highest wage of the fastest growing jobs laborer it is still almost $2,000 shy of the self-sufficient wage for a single adult and more than $20,000 less than what is needed for an adult with an infant. Let's talk just a bit more about self-sufficiency later on in today's presentation. The story of the county's disparities continue when we look at health and health care. About 39,000 people in Forsyth County do not have health insurance. And despite having two large medical centers, parts of Forsyth County are still designated health professional shortage areas in primary care and mental health. And when we consider the incidence and prevalence of chronic disease as a marker of the county's health, Forsyth County ranks 31st out of North Carolina's 100 counties in a ranking of its health outcomes. We compare unfavorably to North Carolina's urban counties, Wake being first, Mecklenburg County being fourth, Durham 12th, and not too far down off of 40, Guilford County being 21st. The data that sets the stage of place matters comes to us from local, state, and federal sources, as we saw in the previous slides. But we also pull qualitative, quantitative, and anecdotal data from community assessments of the place matters footprint. In the most recent assessment, we asked our neighbors, what do you like most about your neighborhood? And here you see that response with the greatest frequency are in a larger typeface. They like the quietness and calmness of the neighborhoods, the people, the friendly and close nature of the community. But when we ask them, what do you like least about their, your neighborhood? The houses, the vacant properties, the trash, the crime. It is this kind of anecdotal data and the meta-analysis that move and help set the stage for our work. Ultimately, we are here today and you have joined us because many people who live in our place matters footprint were not sharing in the neighbors, excuse me, in the community success. Uh, many families didn't feel successful and there were many programmatic silos that prevented intentional and transformational work. And ultimately, the health and socioeconomic community indicators were trending in the wrong direction. Place Matters is preparing for its third investment cycle and set to enter its sixth year of investment. This work began in 2013 when United Way staff began researching the entire community by zip codes and census tracts. We analyzed a variety of indicators related to demographics, resident engagement, residency, housing, education, et cetera. And we saw a sizable area of direct and indirect influence 
resulting in direct engagement with 13 neighborhoods with a population of approximately 5,500 and indirect engagement with the adjacent area totaling another 5,000 people, expanding our reach to more than 10,000 people in the place matters footprint. In identifying the potential footprint, we also considered existing relationships and potential impact. We and existing partners, including Neighbors for Better Neighborhoods, which has been a foundational partner since the beginning of this work, already had strong relationships in this area. This community was large enough to show substantial impact, yet small enough to develop strong relationships with residents. And at the time, we were already involved in several initiatives and services in the area. And finally, we saw an ability to build upon existing assets to create meaningful impact. Here we have a map of the place matters footprint. It is comprised of 13 neighborhoods and the adjacent area. And so if you thought of a circle that went around this area, that makes up the entire of the place matters footprint. The footprint begins near the intersection of New Town Road and MLK and keeps up 311 to Northampton and back down to Carver School Road and Bowen Park and Madera Crest. The 13 neighborhoods are Cardinal Acres, Castle Heights, Monticello Park, Northwoods Estate, Prospect Park, Bowen Park, Dreamland, Adara Crest, Eastgate Village, Lakeside, Spalding Drive, Wildwood Park, and Ebony Hills. A map and a link to the area can be found in the RFP as part of the resource packet. The work of Place Matters is grounded in five basic tenets. We believe that the whole of our community is better when all of our community is healthy and thriving. We believe that community work is complex work and that, be, and that to be successful, we must bring comprehensive and integrated solutions to the table. And that at this table, to continue with the analogy that residents must sit at the head. We are doing with, not two or four. We believe that this work is better and stronger when we build on the already existing assets of the community. And finally, we believe that this work cannot be done alone in silos, that we must convene the community and its stakeholders if at the end of the day, we want to be successful. And so at this point, hopefully I've been able to set stage so you can understand how we have arrived at this point. Let's talk now in greater detail about this third place matters investment cycle, building thriving neighborhoods. Place Matters fits into the overarching goal of the United Way of Forsyth County to create a thriving community. Through our investment in neighborhoods and their vetted priority areas, we hope to continue to see positive change. Before talking in more detail about the investment cycle, I would like to provide some insight on considerations and expectations of our investment partners. In this iteration of Place Matters, United Way of Forsyth County seeks to invest in the economic mobility of the whole of the county across all of its investments. We recognize the unique interplay of social and economic factors in the life course of individuals, families, and neighborhoods. For far too long, where a person was born and lived affected his or her, <clears throat> excuse me, his or her economic health, education, outfit. The image in this picture is Highway 52 bound north at the intersection of MLK and Winston-Salem. For many years, and even now, if you were born to the east of this exit, you were most likely African-American, most likely born into poverty or near poverty, and years later, still in the lowest economic percentile of our community. Addressing these issues are at the heart of the Place Matters Initiative. We recognize that to affect this change, we must intentionally invest in foster partnerships that speak to the economic mobility of individuals in their neighborhoods and that positively impact their self-sufficiency. Economic mobility is the ability of an individual or family to improve their economic status, usually measured in income, but also measured by correlating and collaborative factors such as housing, education, health, and employment and employability. Simply put, it is the ability to get ahead. 
In this place matters investment cycle, partners must present solutions that ultimately increase access to housing, healthcare, and employment. Programs will need to commit to utilizing the economic mobility roadmap and matrix and the North Carolina 2020 self-sufficiency standard as tools in program delivery. More information about that can be found in our appendices and also throughout this investment process. They must also commit to removing barriers to access and implement navigation of services and provide a warm handoff to other resources and services. And they must be able to show the tracking of referrals and outcomes to ensure a comprehensive approach to moving households along the economic mobility roadmap. United Way has developed this tool, the, the roadmap I mentioned in the previous slide and the related matrix as a standard to guide our investment as we strive to create a thriving community. The roadmap and related matrices provide metrics on a number of economic mobility indicators, including those that we would normally expect to see, such as housing, employment, and health coverage, but also those that we may not generally consider, such as mental and emotional health and digital and technology literacy. The roadmap is a tool that partners will be expected to use to identify where their program participants fall on the continuum and as a benchmark to illustrate how their work advances participants to a point where they're able to thrive. As part of this strategic plan to advance the economic mobility of our neighbors, United Way encourages partners to also engage the North Carolina self-sufficiency standard as a tool to support their programmatic goals. The self-sufficiency standard supplements the federal poverty standard, which was first introduced more than 50 years ago and tracks the true cost of living facing North Carolinians today. It highlights the growing gap between sluggish wages and ever increasing expenses, making clear the economic crunch experienced by so many families today. By tracking and calculating the true cost of living facing our families, and all the diverse makeup, it helps our investment partners co-develop with their program participants a realistic plan for moving along the economic mobility roadmap. United Way of Forsyth County believes in the power of community and the power of resident engagement. As a resident-led and informed initiative, we strive to hold true to partnering to address the self-identified needs of the community. It bears repeating, we believe that community solutions must have community input and support and validation to be effective. Our work and success to date have proven this to be true. Our resident engagement work in place matters is a priority in our investment, and we require potential partners to seek innovative, impactful, and engaging means to include residents in their work, from ideation to execution to evaluation. And finally, in terms of considerations, at United Way of Forsyth County, we believe the community and its resources, excuse me, we bring the community and its resources together to solve problems in a way that no one organization can do alone. And it is this similar convening that we want to see in our investment partners. Whether formal or informal, we believe that collaboration is an effective tool to affect community level change. Nonprofit collaborations can be the most powerful agents of community change. However, we recognize that true collaborations are rare across the nonprofit sector and require robust engagement and must be nurtured to be impactful to lead to the end result. So additional consideration will be given to those applicants who levy their community relationships to advance their programmatic goals and foster those same partnerships to help residents of the Place Matters community move further along the continuum towards self-sufficiency. Let's take a look at the goals of the Place Matters investment. These goals have been vetted by our Place Matters residents and show how they want to see their community improved. Along with the goals are the related strategies. The goals are the destination and the strategies of the journey. As we, as we review the goals, I want each organization to ask of itself, do we have the capacity and acumen to move these goals forward? By partnering with us, these become your goals. And just like the residents of Place Matters will hold us accountable for this work, we will measure your work in partnership against meeting these targets. Let's begin by looking at our housing goals. 
By the year 2025, Place Matters investments will result in 10 newly constructed homes in the Place Matters footprint. To give you some background, um, since we began investing in this community, um, now entering into our sixth year, so um, in the past five years, we have built um, right now 11 new homes. And so, and that's not just a home that affects one family, but that also affects the community. Um, and we've built these homes in communities where up until this point, there hasn't been any new build in the past 50 years. And so we're excited to continue the momentum of this change. Um, five new homeowners in Place Matters through means to include financial literacy, training, counseling, and estate planning. Um, 100 homes will be repaired and are modified to promote continued occupancy. And 25 individuals will receive skills development and training related to the building trade that ultimately translates into employment. And finally, 500 Place Matters residents will report increased knowledge and awareness of legal issues related to housing. You know, let me take uh, a break right there, because um, if you look at this goal, you see it says by the year 2025. Um, I don't want you to construe that that this investment cycle that we're about to end will necessarily be five years long. Um, Place Matters and United Way makes a um, commitment to funding one year at a time. Um, going into each investment cycle, we don't necessarily know how long that cycle will be. Um, but in terms of where we want to see these goals advance, we would like to see this happen by the year 2025. Our housing investment strategies include housing stock, resident support, vacant lots, and apprenticeship. In housing stock, we are using a pathway that includes increasing existing housing stock, including repair and maintenance, and that's internal and external to increase property values. We hope to see the knowledge of renters' rights improved and increased, um, support for renters' advocacy and home repair skills for homeowners, increase the knowledge of homeowners' rights with a particular focus on estate planning, uh, provide a limited baseline of support for rent or mortgage assistance, utility assistance and shelter. Increase the utilization of or repurposing of vacant lots with a focus on building or aesthetics. And then finally, in terms of apprenticeship, support the creation of apprenticeship to advance residents' socioeconomic mobility. By the year 2025, for employment goals, Place Matters investments will result in 25 entrepreneurial enterprises created or supported in the Place Matters community. 500 Place Matters residents as a result of skills development and training will find employment or better employment, and that's being defined as resulting in increased wages, benefits, and financial assets, and a decreased reliance on government assistance. And 25 residents will have jobs in the building trade as a result of apprenticeships. Our employment investment strategies Job placement includes residents will acquire new jobs and or increased wages through intentional connections with local employers who commit to their hiring, training, and retention. And this is particularly new to our Place Matters Employment Investment Strategy. Increase the number of BIPOC or Black, Indigenous, and people of color enrolled in training programs for jobs in high growth sectors that ultimately leads to job placement. Residents will acquire and strengthen skills leading to sustainable in demand and living wage jobs. And finally, residents will receive training in entrepreneurship, business planning and management, and also have increased access to capital for startup expenses and professional development. Our healthy living goals. By the year 2025, the United Way of Forsyth County's Place Matters investment will result in 85% of Place Matters program participants having a medical home to also include access to mental and behavioral health services and to include a reduced reliance on emergency care. And 85% of Place Matters program participants will report improved health outcomes. Our strategies in healthy living um, include health care, Residents will have access to preventative health care. That includes emotional and behavioral health. Health behaviors, residents will increase physical activity levels and other healthy behaviors. And residents will have access to fresh and healthy food as well as knowledge of nutritious food selection and preparation. Senior residents will have common barriers to aging in place removed, such as housing and health. And senior residents will have a reduced, excuse me, will have reduced social isolation. 
Community and police relations, residents and police will build substantive trust, trusting and community-based police solutions for their neighborhoods. And police will have appropriate skills for conflict resolution, de-escalation and community and cultural competency. This is going to be covered in much greater detail um, in the RFP. Um, but for those of you who may um, be familiar with the Place Matters investment process, you know that as we move into an investment cycle, we conduct a community assessment. And out of that is born um, priority areas for the um, upcoming investment cycle. And so at the last time when we conducted the community assessment, there were four priority areas. Um, but you notice I only covered three. Um, as part of those previous slides, and those were housing, employment, and healthy living. The fourth priority area is education. Um, because of the pandemic um, and the uncertainty around it, we are holding off on moving forward our education priority for right now, um, but there will be more communication um, as we move into the next calendar year around education. But here, let's talk um, a bit about the request for proposals process um, around eligibility, um, partner requirements, and uh, timeline. The Place Matters investment process is open to any eligible 501c3 nonprofit. As United Way of Forsyth County embarks on a new strategic plan, we invite our traditional community partners and those new to the work in our investment process to partner as we work collaboratively and intentionally to affect community level change. We take pride in our past successes and are excited by the prospect of change that we believe exists in newer and innovative solutions and promising practices. Uh, we believe that if we are to continue to be successful and achieve true change, that we must connect and engage in a partnership base that fully represents the breadth and width of Forsyth County and plug into and invest in its varied and diverse thinkers and change agents. United Way has an expectation that its partners will comply with legal licensing and reporting requirements of 501c3s. Excuse the typo there, you all. Um, maintain financial and budgetary integrity and accountability of the organization. Um, maintain an engaged and active board of directors. Um, conduct an internal United Way of Forsyth County campaign. And develop and maintain non-discrimination policies and practices. And there are additional requirements, all of which can be found um, in greater detail in the RFP. Um, finally, we have here the investment timeline. I've em emphasized some dates that I believe are particularly important for applicants. Um, the letter of intent is due Friday, December 4th by 5 p.m. Um, that letter is returned, excuse me, that letter is completely um, completed and returned to me by 5 p.m. on the Friday, December 4th. Um, for those who are selected to move um, forward in the application process, applications are due Monday, February 21st by 5 p.m. And agencies will be noted, excuse me, notified of the funding decision by June of 2021. Um, this presentation is going to be archived and available on our website for viewing by others at a later time, but also by viewing of those in your organization who couldn't be a part of today's um, presentation. So from here, I encourage you to visit ForsytheUnitedWay.org to attest to your attendance at today's presentation. Normally, these presentations are conducted in person, and they are required for those seeking funding through Place Matters. Um, we would conduct um, an attendance survey at those presentations. Um, but because of the pandemic, we're of course not able to meet in person. So when you go over to um, the agency's website and visit um, the funding um, portion, you can find where to attest to your attendance. Um, there you can also download the Place Matters Letter of Intent packet, um, review the packet and email or call me with questions. Um, you can find my telephone number and email address all over everything. Um, and then finally, submit your organization's completed LOI by 5 p.m. on Friday, December 4th. And now, I believe, Ray, we can take any questions 
that we might have. Um, let's see. I'm going to stop sharing my screen and let's see if we have any questions out there. And before that, actually, let's put that up there. So again, um, my name is Rod Smith. I'm director of place-based initiatives. Uh, my email address is rod, R-O-D-D dot smith at uwforsyth.org. And you can reach me by calling 336-862-5251. And thank you.